If you've been wondering whether or not you should be having your protein shake before or after your workout, this video is for you. We're gonna dive into the research, we're gonna look into the pros and cons of before and after workout shakes, and I'll help you figure out what's best for your lifestyle, your goals, and your body. So, let's get started. Like I mentioned in my video on why women need to eat more protein, getting adequate amounts of protein is necessary for supporting muscle recovery and muscle growth. But like I mentioned in that video as well, many of us aren't getting as much protein as we actually need. So when should we be getting that protein in, especially if you're someone that does workouts? So the truth is, is there's no absolute right answer in this. It really depends on your goals. So let's start off with talking about the pros for having a pre-workout shake. So that would mean you would be having your protein intake before before going and doing your workout. Energy boost. Combining protein with high energy foods like oatmeal, a banana, whole wheat bread, foods that are very high in complex carbs can actually help to reduce central nervous system fatigue. And it can actually reduce the rate of muscle breakdown, which is pretty interesting. So you'll have that adequate nutrition to pull from, sustain that workout longer, have more power in your workout because you're not depleted from not having enough food in your body. And having a pre-workout protein shake will also help to to aid in your muscle growth. A lot of people wait until after their workout, but really having protein before the workout has the same effect. So you don't have to worry about missing out on your gains. As you might know, protein is made up of amino acids and those are the building blocks of what muscles are made out of. So having that pre-workout protein shake will actually make those amino acids more readily available in your body as you go into your workout, which means they can be quickly absorbed and transported to help promote muscle growth. Also having a protein shake before your workout will help you feel fuller, more satiated, reduce any feelings of hunger pangs during your workout, and kind of give you this emotional support that you're fed and you're not hungry during your workout. When I was first starting really lifting heavy at the gym, I had a really hard time going to the gym without having eaten anything before. So I learned that having a protein shake before my workout was a great way to reduce feelings of shakiness and just weakness and general ability to concentrate. Since then, I've also kind of trained myself how to do intermittent fasting, so I do fasted workouts as well, and both have been very successful for me. Having a pre-workout protein shake can actually help promote body fat percentage loss because it significantly enhances the amount of fat burning and energy burning post-workout. All right, so there's a lot of positives there, but what about the cons? Why wouldn't you want to have a pre-workout protein shake? Well, one reason might be digestive issues. Some people really just don't like to have food in their bellies before a workout. It can make them uncomfortable, feel bloated, and just overall feel too heavy to actually feel energetic to work out. Others might have sensitive stomachs or just difficulty digesting protein before a workout. So obviously, if you're having a pre-workout shake and that's making you feel queasy, that's not gonna be the best choice for you. If that's the case for you, but you still really wanna figure out a way to have a pre-workout shake, your goal would be to try to have your protein shake at least an hour and a half before your workout. That's gonna allow your body enough time to process the food that you've eaten to allow for those amino acids to start breaking down and being ready in your body to be absorbed for muscle recovery and muscle growth. You can also try a protein powder that's more easily digestible. So instead of choosing a whey protein powder, you can choose a vegan protein powder because those tend to be less difficult on sensitive stomachs. In fact, that's why we made our first cleanish protein a vegan protein instead of a whey protein because dust in the stomach doesn't tend to digest whey protein very well. So we made ours with a combination of pea protein, flaxseed protein, and chia seed protein so it's easily digestible. Also, having a protein shake before your workout if you're wanting to do intermittent fasting is gonna break your fast. There's no two ways about it. And as I talked about in my video on the benefits of intermittent fasting, having a fasted workout has a lot of health benefits to it. You'll have more human growth hormone in your system during your workout to promote more muscle growth. You'll have higher fat burning percentages. You'll have lower insulin and overall blood sugar levels in your body because you are fasted. So if that is your main goal and you're wanting to maintain that fast, you're not going to want to have a protein shake before your workout. You'll want to have it after or whenever you choose to break your fast. All right, so now let's talk about the pros and cons for having a protein shake after your workout, which is I think what a lot of people wind up doing because there's this concept, you worked hard, you earned your shake, and now you get to get all those gains. 
So is that the case? Let's figure that out. All right, so muscle repair, that's an obvious one. We're definitely going to be replenishing those muscles during the recovery stage after a workout if we have our protein shake. So I remember when I was first getting started working out, there are all these dudes in the gym after their workout just downing their protein because you had to get it into like 30 minutes to two hours after your workout or all of your work in the gym was useless and futile. But none of that's actually backed by research. It is true that there is an anabolic window during which you need to have protein in order to make sure your muscles grow after they're broken down from a workout. However, research suggests that that window is not nearly as narrow as many people seem to think it is. So if you're having that pre-workout protein shake before, your anabolic window is not gonna be affected as much, but if your last meal was four to six hours before your workout, you're probably gonna wanna have a post-workout protein shake. So that might be the case for a lot of people who might be going to the gym after work. They had lunch, but now it's like six o'clock when they're going to get started. But if you're gonna be having dinner after, then it really doesn't affect you either way, just whether or not you prefer a pre or post-workout protein shake. In a meta-analysis in 2013, they were studying the effect of protein timing on muscle hypertrophy and strength. And when it came to actually building lean protein mass, protein nutrient timing was not a major factor. But what was important was that that individual was getting enough protein in that day. Another pro of having a post-workout protein shake is that you don't have to deal with any of that digestive issues. So if you do tend to have issues when you have food and you don't wanna work out, a post-workout protein shake is a great idea for you. Having a protein shake post-workout is gonna help you stay hydrated. So you get that water immediately in that protein shake. And you know, since we're aiming to have half of our body weight in ounces each day, having a post-workout protein shake is a great way to replenish some of that fluid loss. And in terms of cons for post-workout protein shakes, really it's only if you feel like you are not getting the amount of energy and strength that you know you have. Really what the focus should be on is not on the nutrient timing of the protein in this situation, but more on the nutrient amount. Are you getting enough of the protein that you need? I would recommend that you take a look at your nutrient needs and understand how much protein and fat and carbohydrates you need in a day so that you can reach your goals. That's gonna require some calculations and you can check out my video on how to calculate your macros to learn how to do that for yourself. And then try having protein shakes at different times. Have it 30 minutes to an hour and a half before your workout, have it post-workout. Kind of test and see what works best for you because ultimately that's what's gonna make you successful is if you're choosing something that you enjoy that works best for you, your lifestyle and your goals. And stay tuned for Cleanish Protein because we are coming out with it so soon. It is on the line, it's getting ready, it's getting bagged and I cannot wait to share it with you and I will see you in the next video.